All right, today we're going to tie a 17 year cicada fly. I left it up there. It's the period periodic cicada. Closer. Up. Yeah. 17 year cicada, whatever you want to call it. It's a very simple fly. You want to start with a 3XL. This is a 3X long nymph hook, size 6. You want that because it's strong. Carp are a strong fish. This is a big heavy fly. It'll hold them. The thread is um, black 210 denier Danville. Um, you can also use the 140. I just happen to have the 210 laying there. I actually probably prefer the 140. Um, it really doesn't matter. You just need a strong thread. I do not recommend gel spun because gel spun will actually cut the foam. The first material is um, sheet foam. That's all it is, orange sheet foam. You cut off its eighth inch and you cut a strip approximately eighth inch wide. And we'll just cut a small taper on the end. And it's just gonna hang, you just want it to hang off the very tip or rear of the fly. We'll tie it in. You're basically just adding bulk. That's all you're doing, just adding bulk. Second material is again, eighth inch black sheet foam. Where is it? Eighth inch black sheet foam. I'll just cut it approximately an eighth inch. It's not exact. It's probably an eighth inch, somewhere around there. We're just building bulk with it. That's all we're doing. You can take it, cut a little, make it easier to tie in. Wrap it all the way back to the end of the fly because we're going to wrap this around the hook. Next material is Dacron, fly line backing in orange. This happens to be 12 pound. I prefer 20 pound. I didn't have any 20 pound laying around. I had 12 pound. So today we're using 12 pound. It really don't matter. You're just wanting an orange rib on the fly. That's all you want. Make sure all those materials are tied down tight. We'll take the black foam and wrap it. You're not pulling tight. These are just snug wraps. One right next to the other. You don't want them on top of each other, just right next to the other. I got four wraps in there and I'll actually wrap back over this a little bit tie it off. You can cut the foam, break it, it don't matter. And I'm coming back to here. There's my hook eye. Coming back to right here, that's, I don't know, half inch or so. Got to have room for the head. The body and head of this fly is 3 16 inch sheet foam. That's all it is. Black. I cut this. It is... 5 8 inch, so half, 5 8 somewhere in there. You just take the tail, mine's not cut flush, cut the edges off, we're giving a little taper to the rear of the cicada fly. And you want this to come even to just past the orange tail that you would put on it. And these are pretty snug thread wraps. That's why you don't use the GSP thread, because right here the GSP thread would cut it and you want to come all the way up to the hook eye and then you just wrap all this foam down tight that's all you're doing wrapping the foam down tight it's a very simple fly and once you get going with them you can tie them really fast you can have a bunch of cicada flies real fast this is just super glue i'm just going to run it on top right there and that just helps secure this body. Hold it in place for a minute. It'll become, start to get tacky. And then you take your Dacron backing and you're doing the ribs. And this is what also holds the body. The super glue and these ribs. That's the rib on the cicada fly. If you ever seen one, you'll see these little ribs on, the, on their little bodies. I 
I got five wraps. Um, you can do five, four, six, it's up to you. Um, you can space them out further. I like mine kind of close because that's when I see the cicada flies in the wild, that's how they look to me. Next material is deer body hair, and this is orange deer body hair. You can put flash in there. I don't. Um, I just use the deer body hair. I used to time with flash and found that it didn't help, didn't hurt, but it didn't help, and they ate it just fine without it. You want to clean all the fuzz out of the deer hair. Deer body hair comes off the hide pretty even. You can actually, you can put this in a hair stacker if you want. I don't waste the time putting it in a hair stacker and making all the wings even, um, or all the tips even. I'm fine with it like that. You want this about the length of the body. Tie it down. I actually go through the butts a couple times to make sure that it gets a grip on it and then come back up. Cut the butt ends out of your way. Tying everything down. All right, we got our wing tied in. Take the head, hold it straight back. I got my thread all the way back, and that's that big head that you will see on the cicada flies. Several wraps, pull tight. If you got any hairs poking out you don't like, pull them out. your body off. Legs. These are uh, barred, round, and orange, size medium. Cut them in half, fold them, cut them in half again. Take two on each side. It don't matter the length because we're going to cut them here in a minute. Throw some half hitches. Cut it off. Put a little drop of super glue. That just welds everything in there. You can trim the legs to your liking. Trim those on. When you're finished, I'm gonna hold this white background behind it. I want you to rotate it around a few times. And that's it. It's a very simple. Once you get all your materials laid out and pre-cut, you can tie these really fast because you'll lose a lot of them fishing for carp. It'll catch brown trout, rainbow trout, bass, smallmouth bass on the river. Wherever the cicadas hit, basically every fish in that water column wants this fly.